ಬಂದೇಹಂ The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 1st Canto, 9th Chapter, Text Number 40, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 22nd of May, 1973, in New York, New York. ಗಿರಿ ಬರ ಧಾರಿ 
परमहंस परिभ्राज कचाज सुतर सर समाधिंत सरस्वती गोस्वामी को बात की जय अनंत गोरी वैष्णव की जय रामाचार विष्णु हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत कदाधा सुभाष आदि गोर भक्तुंद की जय फिर श्री राधा कृष्ण गो गोपनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरिवर्धन की जय वृंदावन धाम की जय नवद्वीप धाम की जय गंगा माई की जय जमुना माई की जय तुलसी देवी की जय भक्ति देवी की जय स्वामी तो भक्तविंद की जय ऑल ग्लोरी श्री दस मंदिर ऑल ग्लोरी श्री दस मंदिर ऑल ग्लोरी श्री दस मंदिर थैंक यू वेरी मच ट्रांसलेशन लेट माय माइंड बी फिक्स्ड अपॉन लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण whose motions and smiles of love attracted the damsels of Rajadhamma the gopis the damsels imitated the characteristic movements of the lord after his disappearance from the rasa dance harpar purport by intense ecstasy of loving service the damsels of rajabhumi attained the qualitative oneness with the lord by dancing with him on an equal level embracing him in nuptial love smiling at him in joke and looking at him with a loving attitude the relation of the lord with arjuna is undoubtedly praiseworthy by devotees like bishma deva but the relationship of the gopis with the lord is still more praiseworthy because of their still more purified loving service by the grace of the lord arjuna was fortunate enough to have the fraternal service of the lord as chariot driver but the lord did not award arjuna with equal strength the gopis however practically became one with the lord by attainment of equal footing with the lord bishma's aspiration to remember the gopis is to pray to have their mercy also at the last stage of his life the lord is satisfied more when his pure devotees are glorified and therefore bishma deva has not only glorified the acts of arjuna his immediate object of attraction but also he is remembered the gopis who were endowed with unrivaled opportunities by rendering loving service to the lord the gopis equality with the lord should never be misunderstood to be like the sayujya liberation of the impersonalist the equality is one of perfect ecstasy where the differential conception is completely eradicated for the interests of the lover and the beloved become identical so lord chaitanya mahaprabhu ah uh, said ramya kaachi upasana bhajavadhu vadgavi ja palpita so there is no better method of worship than the system invented by the gopis so gopis in mention of worshiping krishna was to remain all as krishna conscious without any material prop that is the super excellence of gopis they they never expected any return from the from krishna that was not their business oh uh, krishna you have done so much for you uh, you cannot give me this benediction no they never ask like that that is the first class was krishna you take whatever you like from us but we do not ask anything neither we have any need this is go be yours we have got everything to give you and we have no need to ask you this is go be yours generally they worship god needy artha arthati artha means diseased artha means need of money 
people generally go to church, temple, when they are suffering from some ailments or need of money, these two classes, another two classes, jīgyāsū, gāni. Gāni means who is after pure knowledge. And jīgyāsū means inquisitive. What is the nature of God? These are, they are a higher section, but they are not bhaktas. Just like there are many philosophers, they also talk of God. But they are not bhaktas. But because they are talking of God, they are getting some benefit. Just like if you handle with fire, you perceive some warmth automatically. So these four classes of man, they are not bhaktas, devotees. Artha, artharthi, gyani, and jignas. But because they come to Krishna for some benefit, somehow or other they offer their service because praying is also another service. Uh, there are nine kinds of services. Savanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padasi, Archanam, Bandhanam, Bandhanam. This is also service. But because this service is rendered for some motive to mitigate the sufferings, artha, arthati, or to satisfy some inquiries, they are not pure devotion. So, the gopis' activities, they are the supreme platform of pure devotion. There is no other business. There is no other business. Gopis, they are not interested to know philosophically whether Krishna is God. Although they are seeing every step, Krishna is God. Mother Jasada is seeing that Krishna is God. Gopis also, Gopi Jana Vallava, Giri Varadhari. Krishna is lifting the Govardhan hill. Who can do it except God? They are seeing it. Still they do not know that Krishna is God. Krishna is wonderful, that's all. They do not like to know whether Krishna is God or not. They want to love Krishna. Krishna may be God or not God. It doesn't matter. Just like if you love somebody, what he is, is rich man, poor man, educated or non educated, there is no consideration. Love has no such thing, consideration. Similarly, gopis' love for Krishna was pure. There is no consideration that Krishna was God, therefore they wanted to dance with Him. No. Krishna wanted to dance with them, therefore they came to Krishna. Krishna is now calling by the vibration of His flow at this day and of night. So all these young girls, they are all married. Some of them are mothers. They immediately left their home. That is described in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Some, some of them are cooking, some of them are feeding, best feeding the children. Some of them are pleasing the husband or the father. In this way everyone was engaged. But as soon as Krishna's fruit was hard at dead of night, they left home immediately. All the guardians, Generally, in India, for young girls, the guardians are the father, the husband, the brother, all male members. They forbid, why are you going? Why are you? Nobody cares. No love for so-called children, no love for home, no love for brother, father, 
or no respect Krishna. Uh, that is gopi super excellence. So that is being explained. And Bhishma Dev, at the point of his death, he is relishing. These are to be learned. Unless we are practiced to think of Krishna always, how at the time of death we can think of? Therefore, Kula Shekhar says, Krishna tadiya padapankaja panjanantam addaiva vishatu vimhana saraja hansya prana prayana samayi kapavata pitto kandhavaro dhana vidho smaranam kutaste. Maharaj Kula Shekhar, king, a great devotee, he is praying to Krishna. Krishna, this is the opportune time. Now I am healthy. I am quite in good health. So let me die immediately, thinking of it. Because you know, my whole purpose is to think of you, of your past times, at the time of death. So generally at the time of death, Kapubhata Pitta, the whole system becomes disarranged. There are coughing, there are headache, there are some pain. This is general system. Sometimes they are so intolerable that the man who is going to die, he cries. The system within the body is so complicated that at any time it can be disarranged and it becomes a great source of pain. So at the time of death means the arrangement becomes so dangerously painful that one leaves this body no more. This is death. This bodily arrangement becomes so painful, just like one commits suicide, when the situation is too much painful, he wants to rescue by committing suicide. Similarly, when the bodily pains are too severe, then the living entity cannot live in this body. Kaktadiyam. He gives us this body. So we have to give up this body. That we forget. People have become so misguided and they are memorizing. In our country, some astrologer has said that one big politician, he has become one of the two dogs in Scandinavia. Now here, for this material body, they have erected museum, and statues and being worshipped by so many methods. But the spirit soul, which was the politician actually, not his body, he has taken birth as a dog. This is the mistake. Where the politician has gone and how, what he is doing, they do not know but they are concerned with the body. My Guru Maharaj used to say that one man is drowned, another brave man comes, I'll save him. And she jumps over the water and brings the coat and sword. Now this man is safe. So what people will say, what a nonsense he is. He has brought his coat and sword, and the man is saved. Similarly, these rascals, they are dealing with the coat and sword of the living entity, but they have no knowledge in the university or anywhere where the soul has gone. These rascals have no knowledge. They are simply concerned with this external body. Those who are interested only with this external body, not those who are 
99.9 percent population, they are interested in this bodily concept of life. Perhaps we are the only institution in the world which is teaching that you are not this body. This is the wonder of Krishna consciousness movement. We are the only institution throughout the whole world that we are teaching people that, my dear sir, you are not this body. You are different from the body. And after death you get another body. Tatha dehatram prapti. Simple education in the Bhagavad Gita. They do not understand. There are big, big scholars, rascals, all rascals. Our difficulty is these rascals are going on as scholars. They have no bhuddhi. Their life is bodily concept of life. And they are passing as scientists, scholars, leaders, politicians, and they are leading us. Andhajathandri, they are blind. And they are leading us, so we have been also put into difficulty. So only this Krishna consciousness movement can save the human civilization and get him raised to the platform of the gopis. We have got such nice thing. This gopi is unalloyed Krishna love. That is what. Thank you very much.